morning, everyone. Welcome to Lilac Oaks Farm. My name is Renee. This week on the farm, I thought we would do a lovely, sweet, and delicious old-fashioned orange marmalade. Recently, the oranges were on sale at our grocery store up here in the north, and so I bought a whole bunch, and what a way to preserve them. And I'm going to use, for the first time, a recipe that I found in this very old 1950s cookbook. All you need is just four simple ingredients, sugar, obviously your oranges, fresh water, and some lemon juice, whether it's fresh or bottled. So let's get started. To begin our old-fashioned marmalade process, we need to wash our oranges. Then slice off the ends and then cut them in the middle. And then slice them as thin as you can get them. From there, we're going to place them in a big bowl and then we're going to fill it with water. One cup citrus fruit to two cups water. And that will all depend on how much fruit you are using. I use 10 to 12 cups of water and then we'll cover it with plastic wrap and you're gonna put that in the fridge either for overnight or for 24 hours. And all that water and all that citrus juice is going to be the beginnings of our marmalade. Now we're at day two. So you're gonna take your oranges and water out, put them in a pot, and then place them on the burner and cook them until fork tender rind. So your rind will just literally fork tender. You take the fork and it will cut it. Once that is done, then you're going to put in your sugar. One cup sugar per one cup of fruit, but I used seven. I had six large oranges to start and I used seven cups of sugar. It all depends on your flavor of your fruit and how much fruit you have. Start with small and then add. You don't want to add and then wish you, you can't remove after. So start small, remember to taste your marmalade so that way you know what this tastes like. You don't want this to taste sour. You want it to be sweet and delicious for that Paddington bear you have. After you've done that, you're going to reduce that mixture until it's like molasses. So that could take 20 minutes, it could take three hours. It all depends on your stove, how much fruit you have, and what your burner setting is at. Now that you have reduced it to like molasses, and since I forgot to, to turn the camera on to show you what it looked like as molasses, the final product, you're now ready to can. Water bath method is what I am using. I am also using my digital canner. It is so hot here that I decided to be cooler on me to use that than having a big pot of water boiling. Or you can use the steam method, which there is a canner out there for that, or even the old fashioned open kettle, which I really don't know too much about, but I know there's a lot of info out there on that. Filled your jar to one fourth inch headspace. Put your lid on, put the ring on, put them in the canner. That water needs to be one inch above that jar. Put the lid on, let it boil for 10 minutes. Shut it off, let it rest for five, and then you take it out and let it rest for overnight to cool down. Halfway, I like to turn my jars upside down so that way the fruit can not all sink to the bottom because that does happen when you're using stuff that's got chunky in there. If you do not turn it halfway, all your jam will sink to the bottom because believe me, I made strawberry jam last year and I forgot to flip it upside down and all my strawberries were here at the bottom instead of mixed through. Just a little tip. And there you go, your own homemade old-fashioned orange marmalade. Paddington Bear will be very proud of us and I'm pretty sure he ate all these jars too. These will not taste like the grocery store. These will be very tender, and this will be as sweet as you like it for how much sugar you put in. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you give it a try, and let me know if you do in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one.